Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, today we are marking up three bills from the Fisheries Subcommittee, all of which were subject to their first legislative hearing just last week. I am very disappointed that we will not consider H.R. 69, my bill, to fight illegal fishing, which we heard in subcommittees nearly four months ago. We easily reported the same measure out of the committee last Congress, so I find this delay perplexing. Every day we wait to act, foreign float, uh, fishing fleets are herding fishermen from Guam to Alaska to the Gulf of Mexico by depleting fish stocks and flooding U.S. markets with stolen seafood. Moreover, we have missed a chance to demonstrate American leadership and exceptionalism by moving forward on this legislation. Senior leaders from the United States and Pacific Island nations are meeting at the Pacific Islands Forum this week, and the issue of illegal fishing is front and center on the agenda. How good would it have been to demonstrate our leadership on this troubling issue that, this, that has significant national security implications? And I hope that we can move forward, Mr. Chairman, on this bill in the near future. On H.R. 5069, we would have liked to hear more about the importance of land acquisition through purchase as a tool for conserving waterfowl habitat. On H.R. 3109, we need to hear from the Fish and Wildlife Service whether or not this bill is consistent with our treaty obligations. We are willing to allow these bills to move forward today, but will lodge views expressing our reservations and will hope to resolve outstanding issues before these particular bills advance to the floor. And with respect to H.R. 5026, however, we have not been convinced that the bill is in the best interest of the environment of the U.S. taxpayers. The National Fish Hatchery System is facing a massive operations and maintenance backlog due to significant budget cuts. The Fish and Wildlife Service uh, rang the alarm on this, last, on this last fall by issuing a report showing the type of restructuring that would be necessary to meet operational objectives in the absence of significant funding increases. The service rightly prioritized protection of threatened and endangered species and tribal trust responsibilities over the support of put and take fisheries for non-native fish. Instead of the service being commended for planning for the future and using the dwindling funds conservatively or by offering additional resources to continue subsidizing local economies through rearing and stocking rainbow trout and other game fish, the service was instead reprimanded for putting national responsibilities above local interests in marking up this bill. So I encourage, Mr. Chairman, the committee to reconsider the overall needs of the National Fish Hatchery System. We oppose this bill as written, and at the appropriate time, our members will offer several amendments to improve it. And I yield back. 